And now we will bring in the 2012 Mr. Olympia, two-time Mr. Olympia, yes, Phil Heath. Phil, congratulations on the win. Thank you very much. A lot yeah. of hardware on this guy right now. Congratulations, Thank Phil. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, Phil, i got to ask you. Now you've defended. Last year you were chasing it. I saw that you, you traveled 200,000 miles this year, promoting the sport, guest posing, doing everything you did. Compare winning the first one to winning the second one. I would definitely say winning the first one. You know, it was, it was tough, you know, because obviously I was going against my best friend in the sport, Jay Cutler, and, you know, defeating him, you know, it, it was, you know, I was very excited, but, you know, at the same time, it was kind of bittersweet because, you know, I was, I was beating a friend. Um, this year is completely different. Um, you know, with, with Jay out of the competition, you know, I knew that I was going to have to, you know, really hone in on myself and, and not be concerned with anybody else. And, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, I kept telling myself, you got to be better than you were last year and because you know that these guys are hungry. These guys think you don't train hard. These guys think that you're just blessed and you just miraculously just woke up as Mr. Olympia. You know, I hear what these guys say and I even read some of these moron comments on the Internet. And, you know, at the end of the day, man, I, you know, I work my butt off just like everybody else. And, you know, I, I, one of the major things I did was, you know, I traveled a lot. I shook a lot of hands. I definitely, you know, made a lot of friends. You know, but, I, but when it was time to focus on the show, I shut off all social media and, you know, probably ruined a couple of friendships along the way. But they, I had to let them know that, you know, I'm going against the best in the world and they don't travel as much as me. They don't have as many expectations. I mean, let's face it. Every Mr. Olympia that I've done, every concert that I've done, I've improved and everybody expects bigger and better every time. You know, it's, it's very nerve wracking. I can't even lie. <laughs> but, you know, I was able to give the goods. And hats off to Kai Green. I mean, I think I'm going to take a little bit of credit and say that I, I definitely pushed him to look the way he did. I mean, he looked incredible. To me, this was his best ever. And I knew going into this prep that I was going to take his best shot. And I was able to take his best punch, especially last night. He gave me a really good punch. And I was able to take it on the chin and punch back tonight, being more aggressive on stage and just taking care of business and realizing that I am the champion, I should act like it, and I should have fun out there because, hey, it's Vegas, baby, and it's time to have a good time, and these people pay a lot of money to come out and support us bodybuilders, so I'm going to give them a show, and I did just that, and, ha you know, and I know the judges had a hell of a hard time judging this one probably, but I'm just glad that I came out on top, and now I'm two-time Mr. Olympia. The one-time jinx is over, and now I can you know, get some real food and celebrate just for one night and then get ready for the Shiru Classic because I'm sure Kai Green's probably pissed off and wanted to go beat me out there in, in New Delhi. Um, but I, I will say this, you know, I, I respect Kai, he, you know, for his hard work and dedication. You know, uh, you know, he did make the necessary adjustments to be highly com competitive, and he did just that. Hats off to him. Um, but, you know, I'm just glad that my trainer and I, you know, came up with a, a great game plan to defeat someone that came in at their all-time best. Because that's always, that's very, very hard to do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, at our pre-show, we talked about, we said, you know, we thought that you would have to be off for somebody really to push you, and that wasn't the case. Kai Green, as you said, came in at his all-time best, and we both noticed that you kind of had a change from last night. You mentioned it. You came out more aggressive tonight. You really pushed it on stage. Uh, I read, you know, some people were like, wow, what's, what's gotten into Phil? And it's like you said, you got punched. You punched back. Did you feel like that aggressiveness, we could even see it when you were on stage, you seemed to improve the longer you were out there. Is posing like that, posing real hard, is that something you practice a lot to expect that sort of battle? I just think growing up, I'll be honest, man, growing up playing basketball on a blacktop, playing basketball in Division One a you know, being 5'9", playing at that level, you have to have some fire in your belly. And you have to have, you know, heart. And a lot of people have questioned my heart for the past year, and I, I really can't understand that. How you, can you question the heart of a champion, a Mr. Olympia champion? And a lot of people just made it seem like, you know, like I didn't deserve it, and I was just handed all this other stuff. And I started thinking about that last night. I was like, you know what? I worked my ass off. I worked my butt off to be on this stage. I worked my butt off to be Mr. Olympia. I'm going to show everybody why I'm Mr. Olympia. I'm going to show them what a true champion is, and I'm going to show them what a true athlete is. While these guys are hugging the, hugging the rails, 
gasping for air. I'm thinking back at those times where I had to run five, ten miles a day playing basketball. You know, I'm still an athlete. I was ready to go again, and I think everybody got to see that if you mess with me, I'm ready to roll. <laughs> because, I mean, I'm sure people are watching this and they're like, oh, yeah, that's cocky, that's arrogant. No, it's not. Because you know what? I'm truly an athlete. I train above 5,300 feet. You know, people, people that live in Colorado know this. I'm just well-conditioned. My trainer rides me like Zorro. You know, I do, he, I do everything he tells me to do. We came out there, and we took their best shot. And you're damn right. I had to be aggressive. I can't say that it's something that I practice. It's just something that comes from within. It comes something from within, with inside myself, and to know that in order for people to take me serious, I can't always be this humble guy. I have to let them know who the hell the champ is. And I think I had to do it in that fashion in order to win. And, I, and I'll tell you what, if we had to go back up there, I'd do it again. I'll do it again next year. It doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, I still respect these guys, you know. But they, I want to thank them because they brought that out of me. And it, was, and it was a champion's mentality that they brought out of me. And that's a good thing because as I go to the gym now, my whole goal is to never let it be that close again. Phil, you mentioned that it was a little bittersweet last year because you had to beat Jay, who's a good friend of yours. He wasn't here this year, but he says he's coming back next year, so you may have that challenge again. When you look forward to the 2013 Olympia, I know it's a year away, and you think about Jay being back, you think about an improved Kai being back. Is that all the motivation you need? Because in your post-speech, it seemed like you took a lot of motivation from events in Colorado this year and that. So where will that motivation come from? And speak a little bit about this year's motivation as well. This year's motivation, I mean, came from multiple areas. But, I mean, you know, like when, when that shooting in Aurora, Colorado happened, you know, these are some defenseless people that, you know, had their lives taken. You know, and to watch those videos over and over again, it just, it just tore my heart up. I mean, you know, I, I cry about it all the time because that's my town. It's my state, you know. I love Colorado. You know, I love the people there. They've given me, I'm, I'm originally from Seattle, Washington, but I, my heart is in Colorado. And they've embraced me. And to have them hurt like that, I had to give them something to be happy about. As far as next year, as Branch Warren would say, I don't give a damn. <laughs> because at the end of the day, I'm the champ. They're all going to come after me. But guess what? The coolest thing is that I have going for myself is I'm motivated, I'm young, and I'm healthy. And I got my faith. And you know what? I, can, I know now what I need to do to never let this happen again, to push myself higher than ever before. Because I don't think some of these guys can even improve based on what I just saw. Because I felt like guys were at their limit. And if they're not, I'll be ready. Because I'm expecting King Kong to show up at next year's Olympia. Absolutely. We'll get you out of here on this one, Phil. Um, Larry and I, one of the things we talked about was building a legacy. Dorian Yates, Lee Haney, Jay Cutler, Ronnie Coleman, you know, all these, Arnold Schwarzenegger, multiple Olympia champions. You joined that rank of multiple Olympian champions. Do you think about trying to string together three, four, five, six Olympias, or is it something where you do not want to get that far ahead of yourself and just take it one event at a time? I'll be honest, you know, last year I, I started thinking of the number. Um, I think in India last year, Jay and I had a lot of time to talk about that number. And uh, he gave me a number. I didn't like that number, <laughs> but it was multiple. Um, but after this event, I realized that I need to do exactly what I was telling myself throughout, throughout this process, which is enjoy the process of being the champ. Enjoy the process of training every day, doing something that you love, that are, you're getting paid to do, that you're getting an opportunity to motivate others to do the same. So, you know, I'm, I'm very excited. I want to win next year, and I'm going to take it one day at a time this year because I'm going to enjoy being two-time Mr. Olympia. Well, we certainly look forward to it next year, and congratulations again, Thank Phil. You. Thank you very much. Phil, congratulations. Thank you. Two-time Mr. Olympia. Right. Is that sinking in? Oh, yeah. It's in there? It sounds good. Right? Oh, yeah. Three-time probably sounds better, though. We'll have to wait till 2013. <laughs> All right, that's Phil Heath, 2012 Mr. Olympia, the reigning and defending Mr. Olympia. Two-time. <laughs> that's our Bodybuilding.com Olympia webcast coverage.
Thanks for watching and good night.